Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. So here we have to find the value of this complex integration over this curve C, which is a circle mod Z is equal to two. But see, we have to solve this problem with the help of Cauchy's residue theorem. Okay, so let us start to solve this problem. I will call the given integral as I. We have, what is our I? Integration over C, one upon z minus one square z minus three dz. So here the important part is a given circle C. Okay. So let us draw that circle first. Then we will solve the problem. Okay. So where C is a circle mod z is equal to two. See, to draw the circle, we need to have the center and radius of that circle. So we can easily obtain just by comparing with a standard form. So what is standard form of a circle? Mod z minus z naught is equal to r. So this is the standard form. Z naught is center, and r is radius of circle. So let us compare. Only mod z is there. That means z naught is zero. So the center is zero. Center is zero. That means zero plus zero i, or you can write zero comma zero. Let us find radius. If you compare right hand side, we get r is equal to two. So that means radius is two. So given circle is a circle with center zero zero and radius two. So let us draw this circle first. This is imaginary axis, real axis. One two, minus one minus two, one two three, minus one minus two minus three. Okay, minus four also you can take. That's it. So here we have a circle with center zero zero and radius two. That means Our circle will be like this. Okay, so this is a rough sketch of a circle, right? So the second important thing is a given function. So what is the function we have? Let me write. So let us remove this part. We have. Function f of z. So we are integrating this function, which is. One upon z minus one square z minus three. So this is a given function, right? See, we have to solve that integral with the help of Cauchy's residue theorem. So let us try to understand the statement or the meaning of Cauchy's residue theorem. Then we will solve the remaining part of this problem. Okay? The statement of Cauchy's residue theorem is integration over c f of z dz is equal to two pi i. Sum of residues. That means what we do, we find the singular points of a given function. Singular point means point where function is not analytic, or generally you can say the point where the denominator is zero. We check those points are lying inside the circle or outside the circle. If point lies outside, no need to calculate residue. But see, if point lies inside, we have to find residue. For all such singular points, then we take sum of all these residues, and we take the product uh, with two pi i, and we get the value of integration. Okay, so that means we find the value of integration with the help of just residues only. So in this example also, I will follow the same method. Our next task is to find its singular points. We will check those are lying inside the circle or outside the circle. If they lie inside, then only we find the residues, then sum of residues, and then with product with two pi i. Okay, let us start to solve. So let us find singular point. That means where the function is not analytic or the denominator is zero. You can easily see if I put z is equal to one. If I put z is equal to one, one minus one, zero we will get. That means we get zero at denominator. So z is equal to one is a singular point. 
Similarly, if I put z is equal to 3, then also we are getting 0 at denominator. So, 3 is also a singular point. So, here z is equal to 1 and z is equal to 3 are singular points. So, now the next question is those are lying inside or outside. Let us find z is equal to 1, it is here and z is equal to 3, it is here. So, that means z is equal to 1 is lying inside the circle, z is equal to 3 is lying outside the circle. Let me clearly mention here lies inside C and z is equal to 3 lies outside C. See, we have to find residue only at that singular point which is lying inside. So, I will find residue only at z is equal to 1. So, now the next question is how to find residue. Actually, the definition of residue involves Lorentz series expansion. It's a very difficult task. Not that much, but see, it's a lengthy task. But see, if you have it is a pole, we can easily calculate residue with the help of formulae, right? So, let us see, you can easily see here z is equal to 1 is a pole of order 2. So, that is why it is a pole. So, we can easily calculate its residue, ok. So, here z is equal to 1 is a pole of order 2. So, if it is a pole, we have a formula for that. Residue of f of z at z is equal to 1. So, what will I do? I will write the formula first, then by putting the values and putting the function, we will get the residue. That formula is 1 upon n minus 1 factorial limit z tends to 1, since we are calculating residue at 1, n minus 1, nth minus 1 derivative, z minus 1 square f of z actually n is here okay z minus 1 raised to n f of z this is a formula n means order of that pole so here order of pole is 2 that means at the place of n i should put 2 everywhere let us put 2 minus 1 1 factorial 2 minus 1 derivative that means single derivative n is 2 here and our f of z that is our f of z 1 upon z minus 1 square z minus 3. Tell me can we cancel anything here? Definitely this z minus 1 square z minus 1 square will get cancelled to each other. Okay. See there is no more space to write make a screenshot of it first then I will go further. Okay. So, let us solve it further. 1 factorial means 1 1 upon 1 1. Okay. No need to write that thing. Limit z tends to 1, derivative is there, right? And inside the bracket, we have just 1 upon z minus 3. So, now it is time to take derivative. So, we are familiar with this formula, derivative of 1 by x, which is minus 1 by x square. The same formula is applicable here. At a place of x, we have z minus 3. So, limit z tends to 1 minus 1 upon z minus 3 square using this formula. But see, we have z minus 3. So, by chain rule, we supposed to take its derivative again. So, by chain rule, derivative of z 1 and derivative of 3 0 since it is constant. Okay, By chain rule, I wrote the derivative again. So, this is equal to minus 1. See, I am going to apply this limit. Applying limit that means simply we have to put z is equal to 1 everywhere minus 1 upon 1 minus 3 square 1 minus 0 1. So, at numerator minus 1, 1 minus 3 is minus 2, but minus 2 square is, okay, let me write it first. So, it is minus 1 upon 4, minus 2 square is 4. So, the residue is minus 1 by 4, okay. So, let me remove this part. So, here the given function has only two singular points 1 and 3. 3 was lying outside, only 1 lies inside the circle. So, we have to find residue at 1 only and we got it. It is minus 1 by 4. So, it is time to use 
Cauchy's residue theorem. So bind Cauchy's residue theorem. Let me write the integration. 1 upon what we have z minus 1 square z minus 3 dz is equal to the formula says 2 pi i sum of residues. This is a formula. But see only one residue we have. So let us put 2 pi i into minus 1 by 4. 2, 2 will get cancelled and we get minus pi i by 2. So this is required answer, right? So make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. See you in next video.